hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i will be talking about my favorites of korean skincare a few of the favorites because i have way more if you can tell i've been testing out a lot of products so i can talk give my honest opinion none of these are sponsored even if i've been sent some of these products to me let's dive into it my skin type is sensitive dry i wouldn't say it's super sensitive because i don't have many reactions on ingredients but if something's not right it's not right the first product that i have been testing out and i've been seeing literally everywhere all the social media has been raving about this toner the tear tear milky toner i haven't been using it for that long as you can tell but i do use it every single day just to see what it does for my skin it is a definitely really really hydrating toner however it's not the best if you have oily or really sensitive skin because it is packed with really a lot of ingredients that you can be sensitive to and it is a really heavy toner so it is supposed to be a really highly concentrated toner that is providing a deep hydration and it definitely does do that the texture of this is pretty thick compared to the other milky toners that i've tried you know at first i was kind of mm, i don't really like that because even though my skin is dry i do not like too much hydration after i've been trying it out for months i kind of feel like it does do pretty good i use it at night time mostly in the morning time i use more of the soothing product it's pretty worth it the container as well is a glass container so it is a really rich of like feeling that even if you spend like $30 on it, it feels rich and it feels like an elite skincare product. An 8 out of 10 for now. Maybe if I use it for longer, I will fall in love with it like literally every single person on this earth on social media. But for now, it's just 8 out of 10. However, it is a pretty good product, especially if your skin is dehydrated. I feel like it's definitely worth trying. Next product is the Rito Shot 100 from the VT Cosmetics. When I got a message in my email telling me that they want to send me product, I didn't even know about them that much. However, I did see this product circulating on the internet. So I was like, yeah, sure, I will try it out and see how it is. You know what this is? This is a needle in a bottle, which is really, really interesting. You know, Korean skincare makes me shocked every single time when I receive some new products because I'm like, damn, they are really ahead of the game. But this thing was really mind blowing to me. It actual micro needling that you're supposed to put before any of your skincare after you cleanse your face. And it does feel like needles poking you. After a few times you use it, you don't really feel it that much. But the first time that I used it, I was really, really shocked. It kind of hurt. To be honest, it did hurt even though they do have Rito Shot 50 and Rito Shot I think up to 1000 or 700, I don't remember. This is just 100 because it did hurt. However, after a few uses, it's pretty good. So the purpose of this is to penetrate your skin before you use any skincare so other skincare products that you're using after can get into your skin way better than if you just layer it on top of your skin it's supposed to get rid of the dead cells on your face and pores and make your skin texture disappear i do think it is a really good product to try out it is not that cheap of the product especially to find it in canada or united states However, if you do get your hands on it, I do recommend it if you have skin texture. At first, just use it once or twice a week just to give it a try and then just slowly add it into your skincare routine, kind of like retinol, basically. I just noticed my microphone was out, so the audio is going to be quite messed up this video, but I will get better. I'm sorry. I don't know if you saw any of the little machines from the Medicube for anti-aging and like better absorption of the product. Well. I got the jelly when they reached out to me to send me some products i was really really excited because i've been dying to try and they sent me actually quite a lot of products which are not really popular on the internet so i will give my review on them later if you would like to this little thing i've been seeing literally everywhere everybody's using it with the booster shots collagen jelly you know when i see the videos i always 
see them using it and it's like really nice cream and it's like fun to see whatever first of all the color of this is so fun i haven't seen any skincare product this color second of all the texture of this is not like i thought it was it's kind of like a super thick jelly it doesn't even go on my finger so i don't know if you're supposed to use this only with that thing but when i put it on my face my face is instantly glowing it's super hydrating you don't need to use like a lot of different products with it which i like if you're supposed to put it as the last step of your skincare at night i mean you can do it at the daytime but to be honest there's not much point because it's better absorbed at nighttime so if you are looking for like a collagen but super hydrating and like fun to play with because the texture of this is really fun then collagen by medicube is really nice it's basically restoring tightening and firming in fact so kind of more like anti-aging obviously because it's a collagen so if you are a teenager you definitely don't need this cream but if you're after 24 25 years old so i would give this one really 9 out of 10 considering all the facts especially the texture i just love the texture so fun everybody and their mom knows about cosorex snail mucin everybody was using it from like 2018 i think i didn't really like the cosorex snail mucin that much even though i know a lot of people do like it it kind of just didn't stood out to me when i saw that they have a vegan version of the snail mucin the bean essence by mixum became my number one for the past four months this thing is in my routine twice a day as you can tell i almost used out a whole bottle and i already have a new one with me because this thing i've been using every single day and my makeup is shiny my skin is shiny and it's really hydrating plus it's a really gentle exfoliator it doesn't need to be an exfoliant but if you want it to be an exfoliating essence just put it before your skincare i mean after you cleanse your face and just rub it in like this you will see dead skin and i know that some people will think oh it's just a product build up like blah 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 no after you cleanse before your skincare and you can tell after you use it a few times that it's not always you're gonna see those thingies. It's not sticky, doesn't have any scent, and it is allergy tested, which is a really good thing. And it is a skin irritation completed. And by the texture, you might think it's quite sticky, but absolutely not. So this thing is my number one. It's 10 out of 10. For the toner pads, they've been everywhere. Everybody wants a toner pad. Everybody who loves skincare has a toner pad. For a long time, all of these are toner pads. I tried out quite quite a few for a long time my favorite one and still is is the medical one i have my favorites which i can talk about in part two but but when the skin foods send me their product this carrot toner pad surprisingly won me over really fast so it has carrot seed oil and it's supposed to help with sensitivity and moisture and it definitely does it you take one pad you peel it in half and you use it all over your face if you want you can leave it five to ten minutes on your face and as a sheet mask basically like every single toner pad or you can just wipe your face whatever suits you but i like to leave it on my face for a bit because i like to soak in all that product this one is a 10 out of 10 for me and i do have their sheet masks but you know sheet mask is quite hustle to put out but I love to use these one, especially before my skincare routine. These two together make my skin mwah, glowy. And the next two products are gonna be sunscreens because I know a lot of people have problems finding a good sunscreen for them. It's either irritates their skin or leaves white cast or it's super scented so i will show you some good sunscreens that i've been using and probably the best sunscreen that i've tried i have another one that i really really loved last year however i didn't buy it yet because i have so many to actually use out so the first one is the haru haru wonder um black rice moisture daily sunscreen the texture is really really nice it's suitable for sensitive skin it is a chemical sunscreen so if you are looking for mineral sunscreens i don't think they have any mineral sunscreens in korean skincare as i remember i haven't found yet if you know some let me know but 
but for now I haven't found. So Haru Haru Wonder is a brand mostly known of making products for sensitive skin with no scent and you're using black rice. That's why I really, really do like it and it's unscented. For sensitive skin, it's like one of the best things. It has no white cast. Another super nice sensitive skin approved sunscreen is the Centella Skin 104 Centella one, the Hylosica. However, it might be a bit too shiny for people with oily skin. If you do have more of the oily skin, this one is probably not the best. They do have the sunscreen that is suitable for oily skin, which I don't have. This one for our combination and dry, one of the best. This one and that one, the applicators are so fun. It's like a little plumping one, so it's really hygienic. This one has slight smell to it and it has hyaluronic acid inside product and some other ingredients for antioxidant benefits to improve your skin health. Both of these are 10 out of 10. I was really, really bad at wearing sunscreen before, but you know, these two make me wear sunscreen every single time. But yeah, these are the products that I've tried out. They're super viral, worldwide in general, and I really do enjoy these products. I still have more of my favorites in the back. So if you would like to see a part two, let me know because I am down to share all the secrets. Thank you for watching.